Raging Fighter is a Konami-developed fighting game released for the Game Boy at the end of 1993. Just one of many on a system that has versions of every big fighter at the time, Street Fighter, King of Fighters, Mortal Kombat, etc. Now, as far as menu options go, Raging Fighter has all of the options you'd typically find in any fighting game. Single player options such as practice, free fight, it has a tournament mode, uh, versus via Game Boy Link cable, and it also has its own story mode. And here's the actual game. One of the first things I noticed was, for a Game Boy game, the sprites and their animations are pretty damn good. Most fighters on the Game Boy relied on super deformed sprites, and those worked out pretty well, but in this case Konami did an excellent job with these full-size sprites. Probably my favorite feature in the game would be the method Konami used to really make the most out of the Game Boy's two buttons. Depending on what direction you press when you hit punch or kick, you can throw out a different type of punch or kick with different properties and that would be useful in different situations. So for instance, if you're crouching, you might have up to three different low kicks to utilize. This really brings a lot more depth into the game. Of course, just like just about every single fighter from this time period, Raging Fighter does have its share of technical issues. Take a look at these kicks. Pretty much, the kick and its range is pretty much everything underneath of him and slightly behind him. This carries over to a lot of attacks in the game, and gives a few almost 360 degrees of impact. Almost at the same time. Now, it'd be kind of silly to expect the game to be perfectly balanced, considering what it is. And of course it's not. Consider uh, characters that have multiple hit moves for specials. They really, really don't do much at all, considering characters can generally block almost every time after the first hit connects, even if it's really solid. The characters that really suffer from this are Tao and Miyabi, because that's pretty much all they got. And because of how often it fails, they just can't do a whole lot compared to some other characters. Since this game isn't balanced, I do have to mention Bulk. This move, right here, where Bulk screams and charges across the screen at you, is what makes him the most abusable character in the game. It's completely invincible start to finish, it hits for big damage on hit or chip, and you can even follow through on it with itself. You have the option of throwing afterwards if they block, but there's no point because you may as well just use the move again. It's not even his only really good move. He has this headbutt that's really quick, and can be done in response to getting hit. So, technically, nothing that doesn't knock him down is safe on hit. When all of this comes together, it just makes him the flat-out best character in this game. He has more options than anybody else, they're better than anyone else's options, and if you can pull this off, you shouldn't be losing with bulk. Ever. Despite the imbalance, Raging Fighter is still a pretty good fighting game for the Game Boy even if it can be distilled into a basic flowchart like this one.